Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we are going to be using a team that I someone responded to my tweet and me asking for teams and this is from at Randy Sosa uh, S O S A uh, and the team consists of Dragonair, Victory Bell, Celio, Wish Cash, the restricted starter being Charizard and Skunk Tank. Uh, so this is the first team that I'm actually using with no Lapras. So I was actually really nervous on this team. So this team, um, you know, has, has uh, you know, it's, it's a good team for sure. Without Lapras, you can certainly supplement with other Pokemon. Uh, but Lapras is such a strong Pokemon. Has such good one-on-one -on -one matches with so many Pokemon in the meta. But we're going to try to make it work. So Wish Cash uh, versus Venomoth. This is a favorable matchup for Wish Cash. Um, you know, Silverwind's going to do a decent amount. Uh, these Mud Bombs are only going to do a, a decent chunk, but not going to one shot. And, uh, and the Silverwind is not going to one shot either. Wish Cash is very tanky. Um, the, certainly the tankiest of, of its Mud Boy brethren. So, going to try to force a shield or, or have it uh, faint down. So he goes for the switch, so I immediately switch, which is not a great idea. Um, he put me in a pretty pretty bad situation. Uh, but I am up a shield, and what I go for, I go for the blast burn here. And then, and then, I, I, I think I'm, I, you know, I debated whether or not this was a, a stupid move or not. I decided to shield, a second shield. And I go for the Dragon Claw, uh, and this is like the uh, yeah, anyway. So I, I rush. I'm not sure he over farmed here, or we end up in a CMP tie because it's super close uh, for me to to hit that. And I hit it, and I knock it out. And then then I then I realize like what was in the back. He has Venom. He's coming out with Venomoth. Uh, he's gonna go for Poison Fang. Uh, which is the certainly the better move than than uh, Silverwind in this case, unless you want to go for the buff, of course. And then I go in and I realize it is Meganium. I really should have tried to go for the Blast Burn, but uh, regardless. And then I switch out into Victory Bell. Victory Bell actually has surprisingly, it shouldn't be a surprise. It actually is a good matchup against uh, Meganium uh, because its Vine Whips are double resisted. It has to go for Earthquake, which is only neutral. And these Razor Leafs are doing resisted damage, not double resisted. And as well, Leaf Blade, very energy efficient move, does about 40% damage to Meganium. So I'm easily able to, to take it out. Um, so it was a little bit of a gamble on my part. Uh, and to be honest, like uh, it, it paid off for me because uh, I was able to control switch advantage. Um, and that was really huge for me because then I got to dictate what was going to come out. And he probably could have played, he probably could have came in, I don't know if he could play that necessarily any differently. Um, uh, obviously, Shield the Blast Burn would have, would have helped. Um, but that's quite all right. So I am trying to be cognizant of a potential Lapras coming out. Uh, Celio obviously beats Lapras. Uh, not obviously beats Lapras, it's a very close matchup with Lapras. Uh, and then Skunk Tank has an okay matchup as well. Slight loss, but still okay. He comes out with Venomoth again. And he, this is just going to be a Poison Fang. This is only after three confusions. Uh, so I know it's not going to KO. Does an okay chunk. And I'm looking to hit the Aqua Tail after the first confusion. And it doesn't KO. And then I'm rushing. And he switches into his own Dragonair. And I switch into Celio. I have no idea how I predicted that it was going to come out. Uh, it easily could have been Lapras, which is what I was expecting. And uh, and I don't think this KOs me. And, oh, oh it would have definitely KOed me. Uh, or at least the Dragon Burst afterwards would have KOed me. So I'm able to take it out. I think I shield because I, I saw it was a shiny one. And it comes in with Venomoth. I'm able just to Power Snow it down. Definitely a good call on, on his part. To try to try to bait me to use a shield uh, and apply a little bit of damage, and I'm gonna go for back-to-back -back body slams, and I'm just chunking away at this Kingdra uh, with these body slams. I'm able to hit another one. This is so insane. Uh, me being able to farm out that the Venomoth, but beforehand was was super clutch, 
Uh, and, you know, I'm in a pretty good position. And I go just for Dragon Breath to chunk away. And I have a shield, so this is not going to be a problem for me. And I'm able to just poison jab down um, with, with this team. Skunk Tank, man. Skunk Tank. Don't sleep on Skunk Tank. First off, it will probably smell if you sleep on Skunk Tank. I can't. I make... I make that don't sleep on a Pokemon joke way too often, but regardless. Uh, and let's see who we are going to battle next. Oh, I don't think that went through. I don't know why I didn't edit this part out. Uh, and we go up against C9 Gotham. He actually uh, responded back with his team, but to be honest, I don't really check the tweets, the responses to the tweets, unless I'm like erring, erring out a lot or um, or I'm looking for, for a battle. So I know he really likes Double Ice. So I come in with, with Victory Bell, and I think I go Skunk Tank. I go Skunk Tank. Um, you know, Skunk Tank has losing matchups probably to both Ice ice Pokemon, probably. Uh, ice Water types. So this is obviously an extremely favorable matchup for me. And I immediately switch out to Dragonair. I really wish I would switch to Skunk Tank. That would have been uh, an amazing call on my part, but... Uh, that's quite all right. So it's going to be Celio uh, and well, Skunk Tank wins in the um, zero and then ties in the one, uh, likely having to have to do the crunch bait. Let's see. Yeah, the crunch bait is required to to CMP tie and obviously has it's probably a similar situation with uh, so then loses. Uh, to Lapras, but it still chunks away at it pretty decently. And I go for the return, and I land the return, which is huge for me. Just before I fainted, I grab the shield, um, and I go for, and I was going to switch out, then I saw it was Celio, so I'm like, okay, you know, let's dance, let's dance. And, and, I debated going the the, um, the leap blade, but I knew I was going to survive, and I'm going to hit this leap blade just to burn the shield, uh, because I know I have skunk tank in the back, and skunk tank can survive two surfs. And I just need to get to, I need to get to the crunch, and even if he hits me back to back surfs, I'm going to be totally fine. He goes for the skull bash. Um, Back to back surfs would have did so. Skull Bash is 99 damage. Back to back surfs does 120 damage. Uh, I'm in the red. <laughs> that actually would have been pretty close if he back to back surfed me. Uh, uh, 20 more damage. I actually think I would have lost. Uh, well, you know, a quarter of, of Skunk Tank's health is. Uh, is 40 so was that less than an eighth I think I had a little bit more than an eighth uh, of health left and as well he could have self piggybacked uh, if he backed back surf so I, I actually think he would have won because he would if he would have landed the self piggyback then I would have ate one more ice shard before getting off the crunch so um, yeah yeah especially it was the crunch that I was going to KO uh, so in this matchup, uh, it does say on PP Poke that Meganium wins in the two shield, but that what, what actually happens is like as long as I shield the earthquake, I am, I'm gonna win, and I don't even necessarily need to go for a sludge bomb. I just go for it here, even though like if he doesn't shield, I would be like two razor leaves away from KOing, and uh, he goes goes for the bait here. Um, but once I once I double shield, and as long as one of them are, is uh, is um, yeah, as long as one of them is earthquake that I shielded, then I win, because uh, there's no way for him to get off two earthquakes, and um, uh, and uh, in a in a frenzy plant. So I'm a decent position. So he comes into Celio, and I'm super lucky. I was able to get off this. Uh, this leap blade, I don't think it KOs. Oh, it does KO. Okay, never mind. It does yeah, of course it KOs. And he goes into Lapras, and again I'm in like a pretty decent position right now. Uh, he's gonna land back to back surfs, I think. I can't remember. 
goes to the surf. Uh, I, he's probably one ice shard away from a back to back surf. And I go for the sludge bomb. This isn't enough to KO. Oh, actually, not enough to KO. Oh, God. Uh, 71. Wow, it's not enough to KO. Man, Lapras is a monster. So, yeah, he definitely would have won if he if he self piggybacked uh, in the first match, um, doing 20 more damage. Uh, especially, like, there's no way I was going to just poison jab a Lapras down. So, a little bit lucky in that match. So, um, I'm sure he's going to watch this and, and then recognize that it was a probably a mistake on his part. Uh, so next next up, I go against Ricky Beckett. I actually did take a look at his team. I think he had a uh, uh, Knight, uh, like the unevolved form, maxed out uh, Dustox, uh, Dragonair, um, like Ludicolo or something like that. Or let me see here. Actually, probably uh, actually probably have it. Uh, he had no. He had Lapras. He had no Dragonair. Lapras, a Venusaur, um, Drapion, Amine. Um, Kingdra and Dustox actually completely forgot that <laughs> this Omanyte had Bubble Beam. It, uh, it really didn't matter because um, um, this is a pretty dominating match for me and I'm looking just to to farm down and because he he did reduce my attack and he's gonna reduce it again which is pretty pretty crazy and but I have quite a bit of energy and I know likely some a, a grass type is going to come out and you know i really should mix it up i always go for the blizzard in this situation but i really should fake the blizzard because i can definitely get to it uh, as you can see here um i would get to it like one turn earlier uh then the venusaur, the venusaur did faint down so i'm in a little bit of trouble uh, we have a little bit lag on this switch in and we're back at it and a little bit like again and he comes in with drapion and I, I have no idea why i didn't switch out sooner as i go into charizard a little very slow on the switch in but it takes uh drapion quite a while to get to aqua tail uh about seven seven of them uh so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to bait the shield because i know he's generated quite a bit of energy and an Aqua Tail probably actually would KO Charizard. Oh, almost for sure. Charizard, it's uh, super glassy. So I go for it, and then I undercharge it uh, just so I can farm a little bit. And, man, Ricky is an absolute monster. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this Switch Clock identification. Literally, <laughs> that's that's nuts. That's absolutely crazy. It doesn't really matter. Like, it was definitely an amazing play. Uh, but it doesn't matter because, like, I'm going to win. But that was... Um, yeah, that's why Ricky is a uh, is an amazing battler. That's switch clock awareness and having me completely waste all that energy. I think I had about forty energy, and I had a Dragon Claw ready that would have did a ton of damage into that Venusaur. So if I if I didn't have a, such a dominating lead, then I definitely uh, would have lost uh, with that. What well, man? That that play. That's a heads up play. He saw. He like countered the heads up play that I did. I'm like, I know that these these ice fangs, they're gonna hurt, uh, but ultimately, it's the Venusaur's Vinewoods are not gonna KO Charizard. It's gonna be a charge move, so I want to to farm up and then force a CMP tie, force him to 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 use a charge move and not try to farm me down. Um, so, anyways, I go into Victory Bell, uh, into this into this matchup, and and if he leads uh, Omnite. I'm in a good position. If he leads Lapras, I'm good. Kingdra, so it's good against three. And then it's actually like a CMP tie against Venusaur. I have a pretty high rank victory bell. Um, obviously, the other two would be pretty terrible for me. So he's going for quite a bit. I don't shield. And it's just a surf. And, and I just farm it down. And then I go into Leaf Blade, and he goes into K Kingdra. And man, Kingdra is not gonna like this Leaf Blade at all. And that actually did like sixty with the Razor Blade did like sixty percent damage. So I'm I'm in very good position right now. And he switches into Amine, and then I'm like, oh my gosh, I am in massive trouble. These poison jabs are resisted. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just literally just gonna body slam, and I'm actually hoping 
that that he doesn't shield and I just like literally chip away at this uh, at this Omnite and he's gonna go for the ancient power uh, which is gonna do a lot uh, Celio is pretty tank is pretty tanky so I'm able to get to this body slam so I'm like either either this this body slam will and then as soon as the shield goes uh, goes up I'm like great here's my opportunity and man rookie is is an absolute monster take a look at this move here what, <laughs> who does this uh, this is absolutely nuts he actually legitimately double bubble beam me um recognizing like an, an ancient power actually would do quite a bit against me an ammonite so an ancient power would actually do 78 damage it's about half and i'm like clearly below half um uh by the time th these come in uh and and i go for it and i'm able to to take it out but man heads up play that's why like you cannot sleep on ricky beckett like jesus man <laughs> Who is this guy like that was a that was some crazy play to to come from a, a pretty pretty bad situation um this next matchup is an interesting one it's uh wish cash versus uh dragon air uh with well first off and misplays this um dragon air does win this in the two shield um just needs to land straight aqua tails and and, and well you know if i if i self pick as soon as she lands the return i'm like okay i'm gonna win this match return is it does the same damage but it's five more energy uh so i'm in a in a very good position right now and i'm able to farm down i do win in the no shield matchup um so maybe it would not matter but the no shield requires me to to land uh land a blizzard so I'm gonna go into Charizard, and he switches out. Or she switches out into her own Charizard. I have the energy advantage, um, so I'm gonna go for the shield bait. No shield. That's <laughs> that's a nice call. But the thing is, is that this this uh, Obama Snow is in a really bad position against my team. So all I have to do is get rid of this Charizard some way, somehow, fast move it down, double shield, do something, right? Uh, get it low enough so that my poison jabs can can take it out before it lands a, a devastating charge move. Uh, so this Charizard is in the red. Uh, and I'm going to land this uh, uh, this Dragon Claw, hoping to get the last shield. Uh, she ends up letting it go, which I, which I definitely don't agree with because uh, these fire spins are double super effective. Uh, it would have been like she could have... Man, it's a tricky situation. Um being lower health on the Charizard um, was was not a great situation. In the no shield, if I straight mud bomb in this matchup, I end up losing to to Dragonair. So I would have to shield, but would you want to shield like a Mori at? Uh, it's like okay, I guess. Like I have enough energy for for a charge move, but then if I don't burn the last shield, so here's an interesting matchup. Uh, so I counted and I, I think it was just five shadow claws. So I know this is going to be a return, but man, it <laughs> still does a, a pretty decent chunk and I'm just barely able to win out this, this lead matchup and I'm able to, to leaf blade, uh, the next Pokemon. And even though Drapion does resist, it, man, it still does a pretty decent chunk. And this Drapion is, is, uh, and I switch out into skunk tank and out skunk tank versus Lapras. And I go for the crunch. Uh, and again, we see we talked about this matchup earlier. Uh, Lapras does uh, uh, win this matchup in uh, in two shields, and she goes for the skull bash. Now, <laughs> definitely don't go for the skull bash. I understand the there's some there's certainly some matchups where where skull bash is less energy efficient. It, it certainly helps you. Uh, it did prevent the farm down here. Uh, I think I end, I end up letting this go and I'm going to put this uh, Lapras at super low health. I can just powder snow and I'm in a good position. I am up up uh, energy against this Drapion. This Drapion basically has like 10 energy and I'm just absolutely mauling this Drapion with body slams and 
just absolute madness. And I'm going to shield. I think this is Aqua Tail. It is. Um, needed one more uh, one more to get to a crunch. Uh, but a crunch would not have KO'd me anyway. So, And I go for the final body slam. And I end up uh, playing de pretty decently with this team. This team definitely has some, some holes in it. Uh, some Pokemon that would be pretty challenging. But no Lapras uh, makes your team kind of interesting. I'm not going to lie. Like... Yeah, I, I could totally see Lapras um, not being used and and a team, uh, someone actually winning a pretty decent sized tournament against some pretty decent competition. So I was going to leave it there. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see everyone in the next video.